Hi friends, brothers and sisters, my name is Nino from the Servants of the Living God Community in Ormoc, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Have you experienced being busy? I'm almost sure I can hear a few answering, bro, who isn't? The reason I asked is because in today's gospel, we commemorate the memorial of St. Martha, St. Mary, and St. Lazarus. And when we speak of Martha, the word busy comes to mind. Our gospel today comes from Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, You are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Again, when we speak of Martha, the word busy comes to mind. Now, being busy does not always mean doing a lot of things. It may also mean being preoccupied with a lot of things on our mind. But, is it really necessarily a bad thing when we are busy? I don't think so. When we do our work, when we study for an exam, when we accomplish our errands, when we serve in the church and in community, we get busy. And these aren't bad things to do, nor are these things not important. I think what Jesus is pointing out in today's gospel is that what the most important thing is, is being with him and having a personal relationship with him. Hearing Jesus and contemplating on his words must come first before any doing. Allow me to share with you two challenges that we may encounter if we don't recognize Jesus as the most important thing in our life. One, worries and the things on our to-do list will pull us further away from the Lord. Have you ever noticed that somehow when we start our day without spending time first in prayer, our whole day seems to be in chaos. This is because we have allowed the worries of this world to get a hold of us first. The remedy for this is starting our day, listening to the Word of God, and being still in His presence. Another challenge that we may encounter if we don't recognize Jesus as the most important thing in our life is that we are misled to think that we are defined by our thoughts and our actions. We have to do this. I need to become that. However, God is teaching us that neither our actions nor our outputs define us, but rather, our identity is in Christ, for we are His children, to all who receive Him and to all who believe in His name. The Gospel today, the story of Martha and Mary, reminds us to prioritize the Word of God, but at the same time, live a life of active service for the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, sometimes it is difficult to be still, to find time to listen to your word and to rest in your presence. Sometimes we become distracted with our worries and the things that we need to do. May you remind us and inspire us to prioritize being with you and prioritize having a relationship with you. By this, our life will be in order and you will be our source of grace to be able to live lives pleasing to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have been blessed by this short reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Nino. Thank you and have a blessed day.